What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to the channel. As promised, we've got our first ever in-game sneak peek at The Hunter. This is the Vampire Hunter hero that is upcoming for Dungeon Defenders 2. Launches everywhere on Tuesday the 24th. Now a special thank you to Chromatic who gave me access to this uh, test account where I could jump in and check out the Hunter and record this video. Now just uh, for reference, this is with zero gear and zero ascension spent uh, on this Hunter character, so you'll be able to see the base numbers that are available with nothing equipped, but that is about it. Now let's jump right on into it. Uh, first off, the Hunter is a bow user, so uh, we're gonna be using bows. We've known this one for a while here, uh, hopefully everyone has a nice bow farmed up. And additionally, the secondary fire is going to be charged shot. Now this means uh, as far as hero damage builds, you're probably going to want to theorycraft this one around the charged shot shard. Let's see. Yep, and it looks like the charged shot shard is indeed usable on the hunter uh, according to the valid four listings here. So, Charge Shot Hunter, as far as hero damage goes, uh, but what about the abilities? The Hunter's first ability is Wooden Stake, shoots a sharpened wooden stake that pierces through all enemies it hits. So, this is going to pierce uh, by default. Looks like it has no cooldown, so it is spammable as long as you have the resource or the collected blood to keep spamming it. So this could potentially be a powerhouse, uh, no doubt. Uh, in fact, if you just mash the button, you can really rip these things off. Now, once again, of course, you're going to need to have the resource to be able to use those. Next up, we have the Hunter's self buff, which is cloaked. The Hunter cloaks himself in shadow, becoming more difficult to target. While cloaked, all attacks are critical hits. Now, taking a look at this ability, it's got a 20 second cooldown. It looks like it lasts for eight seconds. Uh, if we can get the uptime on this up to 100%, uh, we will basically want to avoid crit chance altogether in the build and just stack crit damage. Uh, crit damage, of course, uh, is going to be king if we get the 100% crit chance for free. Uh, this ability itself looks super cool with the bats and everything flying. And I am very, very excited to check this one out. Next up, we have the Blood Effigy. The Hunter creates an intangible copy of himself that fires his bow at nearby enemies, prioritizing the Hunter's target. So the Blood Effigy, if you throw it down, it is going to shoot at stuff. Uh, however, if you are shooting at stuff as well, it will prioritize that target. So a little way to double dip on some damage there. We'll have to look and see how well this one scales up. And then we've got the Hunter's Heal, which is the Blood Siphon. Fires a bloody orb that steals life from nearby enemies. The orb moves quickly with no foes nearby. So the orb will speed up or slow down depending on the enemies that are there. So figure there's no enemies all the way over here. Uh, it's going to move a little pretty quick and then it's going to hit the brakes the second it gets to some targets. So good stuff there. Uh, it will be able to get over to where targets are at quickly and then slow down for the maximum benefit. Uh, so this is going to be the heal and a source of damage in addition. Now moving on over to the Hunter's defenses. First off, we've got the Spectral Knight. This animated coffin summons Spectral Knights from the grave to attack in a wide target. This one actually looks pretty cool. I'm very curious uh, as to how effective this is going to be. Uh, it definitely looks cool, um, obviously with no stats and no shards into it. Uh, it's got a super slow attack rate. Uh, however, on that note too, it's not exactly terrible. It's at 2.73 seconds by default. So really not too shabby there. Definitely a very cool looking tower type defense for the hunter. Additionally, we have the Sonic Bat. Attacks enemies with piercing sonic waves, stunning them for a short duration. So, very, very cool. Um, no doubt there. This one actually has 
a pretty incredible looking projectile. Uh, I absolutely dig that projectile. Uh, as you see, it's piercing through the enemies and it is stunning. Now, the stun looks like it's only like maybe half a second, but it is a stun nonetheless. So free stun in the form of the Sonic Bat. Moving on over to the Gargoyle statue, uh, build a moss. Oh, that uh, is placeholder text, I am assuming. Uh, this is a gargoyle statue that is going to shoot out the little gargoyles that explode as they hit enemies. Let's go ahead and check it out. You look at the default range. This is with no ascension in, y'all. Uh, the range on them seems really, really solid. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out here. And there they go. You see the, the gargoyles fly out and then explode. Um, IDHC clarified this on the stream today. This is gargoyles. It is not bats, uh, although we may want to assume they are bats. I mean, for God's sakes, we call the hornets nest bees. We might as well call this one bats, right? But uh, very anxious to check this one out. Defenses like this are one of my favorite type defenses in the games. Um, absolutely love them. So very excited to see what the gargoyle statue is going to offer up. And then last but not least, we have the Werewolf Commander. Swipes at nearby enemies with massive claws. Each swipe also creates a small, piercing, ranged attack. So, very, very nice stuff there. Um, we, we've got a blockade-type defense, I'm assuming. Let's see. Yep, it is uh, classified as a blockade. So, we'll be able to use any blockade shards in it. And... It appears that we might be able to scale this up and do some pretty incredible damage. Now, this is not like the Colossus, where you can only throw one. Uh, this is a blockade that you could use in every lane. You can throw lots of them down. So, oh, and it looks like they've got range, too. Oh, well, that's just cool. I did not expect that. So, yeah, they've got ranged or melee attacks. So, I mean, new favorite wall, y'all? Um, I mean, come on. That's pretty awesome. That is for certain. So just a little bit of a sneak peek at the Vampire Hunter. Once again, this one is going to launch on Tuesday the 24th. So we will um, we'll get this in action within a week here. So I've already uh, found myself a bow. Uh, shout out to Fox there as I did 17 million ember mount runs and couldn't find one and uh, i was able to find one for purchase so awesome stuff there uh and then just putting a gear together i'm pretty excited to check this one out with hero damage and with ability power there is some very very cool abilities uh that pierce enemies even i mean just seems like this could be a quite incredible hero uh additionally that buff looks beyond cool the little bats flying around that is incredibly awesome. I am very much hoping that we can get ourselves to having 100% uptime on that as well, as I think it's just going to be an absolute beast. Now, although I didn't use any Ascension, taking a look at the Ascension trees, of course we got range gambits for um, the Knight, the Sonic Bat, the Gargoyle, and for the Werewolf, uh, on the ability side, We've got an increase to our Blood Siphon Heal. We got increases Blood Leech Mana amount. We've got Cloaked Crit Damage. So we can really get this Crit Damage jacked up. Uh, looks like we'll get 20% right here from Spec. And then the usual Suspects as far as Specking in directly to an ability. Uh, as far as the Towers themselves, each Tower has its usual assortment of Ascension to choose from. Uh, the Spectral Knight, uh, Power and Health, everything Power and Health, uh, and then, of course, the Defense Speed down at the bottom. Very, very excited about the potentials here. Um, this Werewolf Commander looks pretty damn cool. Want to try that out, and definitely, I just want to try out all of them. It looks like it's uh, going to be a wonderfully themed hero, and in perfect time for the spooky season here, upcoming in the end of October. Now that will do it for now. Thanks an absolute ton for watching, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.